Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Rode. The PM's wife says she was sick to the stomach after those texts about her husband were leaked. The messages between senior Liberals saw Scott Morrison described as a horrible person and a psycho. The pair appearing on 60 Minutes overnight ahead of the federal election. Jenny Morrison insists the text messages were unwarranted. I felt sick to my stomach because they were talking about someone that I really care about. Those people just have no idea how it would affect my family. She's also used the interview to address former Australian of the Year Grace Tame Side-Eye, saying she found it a little bit disappointing. The latest news poll shows Labor's lead over the coalition has shrunk slightly. It's now sitting at 55-45 two-party preferred. Scott Morrison remains the preferred PM. Novavax is available from today as the fourth COVID vaccine option in Australia. Dr Chris Moy from the Australian Medical Association says it's only available as a first or second dose at the moment and is being rolled out through GP clinics, pharmacies and state-run vaccination clinics. For those people hoping to get it for a booster, it's not available at this stage because we don't have enough information about whether it works or how safe it is at this stage. Overseas, the situation between Ukraine and Russia is worsening, with Australia evacuating its embassy in Kiev. The Ukrainian ambassador to Australia says any assistance is welcome. We will be thankful for any kind of support that the government of Australia can find possible and relevant to provide in order to strengthen our defence capabilities. People searching for love this Valentine's Day are being warned to be wary of online scammers more intent on emptying their bank accounts and breaking their hearts. According to Scamwatch, lonely Australians lost more than $200 million to scammers last year alone. Anyone who believes they may have fallen victim to a scam can report the matter to Fair Trading or the police. In sport, a win for Australia in the second T20 against Sri Lanka after it went to the super over. Heavy snow has forced the women's aerial skiing qualifiers at the Winter Olympics to be postponed. Australia's Laura Peel Danielle Scott and Gabby Ash are all chances to make the finals. And the Opals have defeated Korea 79-61 in the World Cup qualifying tournament. And in entertainment news, Kanye has come out swinging against Kim Kardashian's new boyfriend. He's gone on a tirade against Pete Davidson on Instagram. And Lizzo is keen to get her kid off. She's urged Cardi B, who is the creative director of Playboy, to give her a call. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update. Oh, 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 oh,